Hey guys, it's Slovenian, and today we are starting a brand new challenge in The Sims 4 called the Roji Bib Challenge. Now, I created this challenge and it's pretty similar to the um, solid color challenge. It just has a couple of twists. I will include all of the official rules down below. Um, but just in summary, basically you're making one sim for every color of the rainbow and then you make them a house or a building of some kind to stay in. Uh, also, only using one color, same color as your sim. Details, details, details. Anyways, so today we are starting with our red sim. Got my red on. Uh, so without further ado, I'm just gonna get into the challenge. Make sure you guys know, you know, how everything works. Um, if you wanna try the challenge yourself, you know, tag me, let me know. I'll put my socials down below as well. So let's get into it. So we're starting a new game. I hate story mode sims, so we're not doing that. Hate it. Um, so we're making Rosso Red. Rosso is red in Italian. And we are making him a public enemy. <laughs> Fun. Um, he is romantic. He is evil. And he is an art lover. Because, you know, why not? So here we're just randomizing all of the different uh, facial features and um, make sure to change the eye color um, and the hair color. Hair color and eyebrow color. Don't forget about it. So just trying out different hairstyles. You can choose whatever hairstyle you want, what you think fits best with your sim. Um, I think it's just fun to play with the different hair colors. But yeah, don't forget to change um, or randomize the body shape or, you know what I mean. Um, so here I am just making sure that I go through to all of the categories and make sure everything is tagged as red. It's just, it helps, because then sometimes you forget and then you're just, it's just easier. So we're going with a, a plaid, a plaid moment. I love a good flannel. Um, so I'm just trying to see what different pants, he seems like a sweat for this like a sweatpants guy. Um, so we're just going through the different shoes, boots. I feel like I'm going for like lazy, like hipster farmer guy. Mostly hipster though. I don't know where farmer comes from. I think it's just a plaid. Um, so I'm trying on to see different hats maybe. <laughs> trying on the Darth Maul mask, you know. You know how it goes. So formal outfits, I love using the full body outfits because they just look nice. For like male or female or in between sims, it just looks nice. Um, so here I'm just giving him accessories. Shoe options are kind of limited, but like whatever. Argyle socks, can't go wrong. Then we're moving on to active wear. Active wear, I feel like kind of like it's a throwaway category because it's just like t-shirt and shorts or like t-shirt and joggers I don't know maybe it's just because I'm not an active person <laughs> but yeah again just like t-shirt shorts tennis shoes um he seems like a rogue guy giving him some nice slippers for sleepwear um party wear I don't know I just never know what to put people in for party wear also I don't go to parties so that tells you you know how social of a person I am I don't leave my house a lot um, but we're just going through, I feel like people wear jackets to parties. I don't know. I have, I mean, coronavirus and my, like, lack of social life, I just don't go to a lot of parties. Haven't gone to a lot of parties. But anyways, we're just looking at different accessories. Oh, and now we're in swimwear. Love those Island Living swim trunks. They're always a good one. Classic. Hot weather. It's hot weather here in Ohio. I live in Ohio somewhere. It gets a little muggy around here. Very humid. With that polo, he looked like he worked at Target. I cannot. The open shirt, always a fun time. Gets warm. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Um, so now we're giving him some aviator sunglasses. Nice. Changing up the, the footwear. Love it. Now, the cold weather. Nice, like, uh, shoot, sorry, there's a fly. Um, a Sherpa jacket and some like cargo pants. Love it. Getting some boots and then a little a little beanie. We love a little beanie. I love beanies. They're comfy. 
I used to wear one every day for work because I used to work at uh, a very large chain coffee store. Um, so, anyways, we were just going through all of the outfits, um, checking over them, and now we are making him a popper. So, this is a St. Bernard puppy, naming her Ruby Red or him, um, giving them the, the like couch potato, independent, and hunter as uh, aspirations. But honestly, okay. So I really like, um, so there are like labs, Labrador, Labrador retrievers. Um, there's red labs and they're very rare and expensive and um, they're very cute. And I wanted to create that because I love red labs and I figured he deserved one in the game. So I made Ruby Red a red lab instead of a St. Bernard, sorry. Um, so yeah, just giving her, Finishing touches, collar, the vest, different eye color that's as close to red as possible. Getting a cute pose, and off we go. Um, we're starting in summer, because it's summer. And yeah, we're getting, getting there a lot. And we are about to start the speed build. Speed build. It was like a speed cast and speed build. Um, yeah, you had, I added some money, put on the move objects cheat. You know how it goes. Classic. Um, so now I'm just adjusting. I wanted this to be two stories because I don't, I don't make a lot of two story homes, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I just like, I'm not great at building. So I, I try my best, but like, I really just don't know what I'm doing in general. So there's that. Um, and then I made up a challenge where there's a whole long build section and I have to build a whole house from scratch and I'm just horrible at that. Um, so I'm trying to make sort of a, um, I'd say like farmhouse inspired, like barn inspired house type of deal. Um, right now I'm just trying to mess with the roof. I'm horrible at roofing. I'm horrible at building. So again, why did I create this challenge? I don't know. No one knows. It's fine. It's fine. Um, anyways, so I'm starting on the kitchen. I don't know why I didn't put in any lights at first. I guess I could see well enough, so that's probably why. Putting in the thermostat. Um, changing up the counters, putting in that trash can. Don't forget about your trash cans. Oh, there are the lights. Love the lights. Um, so right now we're just kind of making a loft space upstairs, fixing that roof bit, um, and then starting on the bathroom. So I always have to put in a tub for um, households that have either toddlers or uh, pets, or like dogs, because you need to bathe them and you can't use the shower for that, which kind of sucks, because showers save space, but whatever. Um, so I did a tiny little living room over there, as you can see. I kind of prefer doing it this way, like setting up the floor plan and then doing the walls after I know where like everything goes and how it fits. Um, just because also you have to like untag the red and that's always annoying. Um, so I'm just rearranging some stuff in the bathroom. It's, yeah, it's hard. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm bad at building. I, I try. I always give my Sims like, um, the, like the island counters to eat on instead of like an actual dining room. I don't know. I feel like I, I prefer that to like just have like a little counter to eat on and then like, whatever. Like I don't. I've never really needed a formal living room or like dining room. So I guess that's probably why I do it because I'm just like, well, who needs a formal dining room? But some people do, you know? I mean, I don't. Okay, I don't know. Um, so I'm just chucking some windows in here. I always tend to put too many windows, but I think that's just because I'm new at building, which is fine. Like, whatever. I like natural light putting in the toilet paper. I know it doesn't do anything, but it matters. Put toilet paper in your Sims houses. I'm 
very firm on that issue. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're starting on the bedroom, trying to find, um, like I, I like having the dogs go in the, be able to be in the owner's rooms. Um, so instead of a ladder, I'm using stairs so that puppy can get up the stairs to sleep in the owner's bedroom. I think it's important. I think pets should be allowed in your bedroom. Like why, they're your pet, they're your family. Why wouldn't you let them sleep in your room? And I think that's a little dumb. But I just have a cat who gets his zoomies occasionally. So I am putting, trying to rearrange everything so I can fit that mirror and the nightstand. Um, I'm putting a, a light in the fan. I find that's a fun hack because like that's, in real life, a lot of times there's fans that have lights built into them. So it kind of just makes sense that it would you would be able to have that in Sims, but they don't give us that option. So we have to do it ourselves. Um, so here I'm just kind of adjusting the outside, adjusting the windows. Again, I think I put too many windows in, but it's fine. I don't like blank walls in real life or in the Sims. So that's probably why. And I like a lot of natural lighting, but it's fine. So I'm putting like a little, little shades over the windows. I think they look kind of dumb now looking back at it. Again, I'm not great at building, so leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just adjusting the roof, changing the texture, or the color and the tile, um, and the trim and everything. Um, put that little decorative window. Make it look a little farmhousey. It is like really flat, but there's not a lot you can do. Like I'm, I challenge myself to make all of these, um, not micro homes. The the like, um, like it's like a small. It's not the small house. It's the second one. What is that? I don't know. The like second tier of tiny homes. Um, maybe it's just a tiny home. Is it just a tiny home? I think it is. But anyways. Um, I am, I added a little walkway, I added a tree, and now we're working on that backyard section. Um, you kind of have to place the, the fencing as like separate pieces so it doesn't count it as a room, um, for like tiny living. So, I mean, that's what I did. And it is a little bit annoying, but like, kind of whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so I added some lounge chairs, outdoor trash can. Um, putting in that decoration box, as you do. Oh, I love having a grill and a bar outside. Well, I love having both of those in houses. Like, I would love to have a bar in my house. And I enjoy grilling. Well, I don't enjoy grilling. I enjoy having things grilled for me by my husband. <laughs> I'm scared of grills. Like, not like scared scared, but like they make me nervous because they make loud noises. And I'm just like anxious already in general. So anyways, we're putting in pool lights. Cause you know, you gotta have lights in your pool for when you swim at night. Duh. Uh, I used to have a pool at one point and I used to swim a lot at night. So it is nice to have lights in your pool for that exact reason. But now we're just adjusting, adding pet bowls little calendar buddy um changing out some of the light fixtures i don't know those lights remind me of applebee's like the the red dome lights no idea why just remind me of applebee's um <laughs> so now i am adding wallpaper on the inside adjusting that freaking mirror man i should just put it somewhere else i should have just put it in the bathroom but no i didn't think of that so yeah added tile in the bathroom and just adjusting a little bit, um, making sure I've got enough decorations on the walls, which I don't really have any decorations on the walls now that I'm thinking about it, except that one freaking painting. Huh. Well, yeah. There's not a lot of decoration options when it comes to like a solid color challenge. Um, not ones that like would tie in everything really well, at least in my opinion, but I mean, I'm not great at building, so maybe there are, and I'm just bad at things, but yeah, there we go. I was making, um, changing the name, giving it the lot traits. This is the red residence, and now I'm doing all of the outdoor, 
normal. Um, I do like landscaping. Like, I think it's fun, but I think I'm also really bad at it because I don't know realistically what, like, landscaping looks like. Does that make sense? Like, good landscaping? I'm just like, oh, put some flowers on top of grass-looking flowers and then put other flowers in with that and then I'm just like, I don't know. I think it looks cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding a little garden path to the backyard from the front yard. I think it looks cute. Um, and I believe that is just about it. Um, I will have a little house tour video or screenshots after this. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this challenge. Um, any suggestions you have to improve it or my video. Um, if you like it, you know, you can like it. You can subscribe. You don't have to hit that notification bell because I don't think I'm gonna post like aggressively often. Um, do what you want. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But if you like it, you know, you could like it. You could wanted to. Anyways, um, I believe that is just about it for me. So, see y'all later.